Welcome to the Word of God Online. I'm going to be reading Philippians 4 from the Living Bible Version, which is the Billy Graham Crusade Edition. Philippians chapter 4. Dear brother Christians, I love you and long to see you, for you are my joy and my reward for my work. My beloved friends, stay true to the Lord. And now I want to plead with you those two dear women, Eudias and Syntyche, please, please, with the Lord's help, quarrel no more. Be friends again. And I ask you, my true teammate, to help these women, for they worked side by side with me in telling the good news to others, and they worked with Clement, too, and the rest of my fellow workers, whose names are written in the book of life. Always be full of joy in the Lord. I say it again, rejoice. Let everyone see that you are unselfish and considerate in all you do. Remember that the Lord is coming soon. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God your needs and don't forget to thank Him for His answers. If you do this, you will experience God's peace, which is far more wonderful than the human mind can understand. His peace will keep your thoughts and your hearts quiet and at rest as you trust in Christ Jesus. And now, brothers, as I close this letter, let me say this one more thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true and good and right. Think about things that are pure and lovely. And dwell on the fine, good things in others. Think about all you can praise God for and be glad about. Keep putting into practice all you learned from me and saw me doing, and the God of peace will be with you. How grateful I am, and how I praise the Lord that you are helping me again. I know you have always been anxious to send what you could, but for a while you didn't have the chance. Not that I was ever in need, for I have learned how to get along happily whether I have much or little. I know how to live on almost nothing or with everything. I have learned the secret of contentment in every situation, whether it be a full stomach or hunger, plenty or want. For I can do everything God asks me to with the help of Christ, who gives me the strength and power. But even so, you have done right in helping me in my present difficulty. As you well know, when I first brought the gospel to you, and then went on my way, leaving Macedonia, only you Philippians became my partners in giving and receiving. No other church did this. Even when I was over in Th Thessalonia, you sent help twice. But though I appreciate your gifts, what makes me happiest is the well-earned reward you will have because of your kindness. At the moment I have all I need, more than I need. I am generously supplied with gifts you sent me, when Ephroditus came, they are sweet-smelling sacrifices that pleases God well, and it is he who will supply all your needs from his riches and glory because of what Christ Jesus has done for us. Now unto God our Father be glory for ever and ever. Amen. Sincerely, Paul. P.S. Say hello for me to all the Christians there. The brothers with me send their greetings too. And all the other Christians here want to be remembered to you, especially those who work in Caesar's palace. The blessing of our Lord Jesus Christ be upon your spirits. Philippians 4, from the Word of God Online. Mm -hmm.